Hello, this is Shoyan, a Japanese carpenter. Finally, this house, which I have been doing carpentry, is now completed. Private preview will start tomorrow. But before that, I can show you a little of the inside with the owner's consent. So, let's take a look together. First, let's take a look from the entrance. This is a style made from Japanese cypress. It was installed in an L shape. The joints of the two styles have tenons and assembled at 45 degrees. The job is a bit tricky, but it's accurate and one of the best ways for joints. The whole entrance feels a little narrow, but there is a lot of space in the shoe storage area. Now, let's get into the living room. First is flooring. It's a 30mm natural board of Japanese cypress with nags. The whole house uses the same material. It was in the middle of summer and so hot when I was installing the flooring. Even with just the flooring on the first floor, I remember I was very sweaty while installing it for 5 days. This is the style front of the wood so This stuff looks nice. It really warms me up even by just looking at the flames. Next is unique shaped log. It was the first time that I've seen and worked this kind of log. I actually laughed when I first saw this log. I really wondered if it needed so many branches. The branches got in the way, so it was difficult to draw markings and tenons. It took two people to finally set it up. When it was finished, it looked so presentable. Next is curved decorated beam. The beam processing was a pre-installation job. The decorated beam was not a log. But I made it like a log by a chainsaw. It was made only with a kami portion of pine. The decorated beam fits in a good balance. Next is a joint of large beams. It's called Okkake Daisen Tsugi. It's a rather troublesome joint, but it's durable. It became one beam after I connected them.
I planed it after connecting them. Because the beam became longer, I had a hard time planing it. The two beams look completely different, so the joint stands out. It's a beautiful kitchen, isn't it? There is a storage made of ash in the back. It looks nice. It's a storage part of waste space. I just made a box and I installed the flooring on it. The decorated board of the drawer has a continuous screen. Next is installing the door rails called Shiki and Kamoi. The space above the Kamoi was narrow, so it was difficult to expand it with the jack. It didn't expand easily. Shiki is made of Japanese cypress. Since the grooves were easy to reduce, I had a resin tape attached. It's a small Japanese specific space for ornament. There were several YouTube comments saying, why does it need a tokonoma in a small space? But because it's a small space, it needs a decorative floor. And I was able to use this genuine and wonderful material. If this was a large tokonoma, I couldn't use materials for this quality. Oshii Red was made mainly of cedarwood. Cedarwood has good water absorption, so I think it will absorb moisture well. Oops, a strange man came out. Let's go to the second floor. Next is staircase. I used local pines as a material. I mainly used a kami portion of the local pine. Five steps of spiral staircase. Five steps fan-shaped. It was challenging, but rewarding. I used the same local pines for a straight staircase too. There were a lot of nags in the stringers, so it was difficult to cut for it to be hitting on the backside of the stepboard. The green and luster of pine very beautiful. I think I like pine woods the most among other woods. Mm. 
It's a simple shaped indirect lighting. It seems that indirect lighting has become popular again recently. However, it collects dust, so make sure to clean it. Oh, strange man again. He's using a computer. He's motionless. It's not a wax figure, right? I wonder what he's watching. Skip floor. To prevent falling, I put handrails at narrow intervals. Five steps in front, six steps on the side. I wonder if the design was good. Ash material for laptop desk. The top side was finished with a round shaped surface called bow zoom in. After all, the way it feels from hand and elbow is good. Next is loft ladder. Make it a little luxurious with Japanese cypress. I also devised a handrail part. I made a groove to make it easier to grip. Counters for hand wash in the restrooms. This was designed by the owner's wife. I finished it in a round shape, but cut it out a bit of straight, so it's not fully rounded. This is a counter on the first floor. I made it straight here. I also made an insertion slot for the trash can. There is a space storage at the bottom. This is a wooden deck. Of course, the material is Japanese cypress. I didn't attach it to the building this time. I just attached it on this space. Also, the shape is simple. I think it's easy to use. Next is window hood. I made it in an L shape. There were a lot of comments reminding me to wear a helmet. So I'll wear a helmet from now on.
last is wood shed. I built it without using any kind of metal as materials. It's totally wood. I was able to make it quite durable, and also the design is not bad. It's my first time to see that the woodshed is illuminated. It's nice. So, how was it? I mainly showed the part where I did the carpentry. I started to build this house when it was hot in July. I started with inside work. This summer was so hot. Especially when I was installing this flooring. I even thought that I'm going to faint. And now that it gets cooler, it's the time to leave this place. It's a little strange to say it myself, but somehow I think I managed to get the job done just as the owner wanted. I'd be very happy if the owner would be pleased. I started the YouTube channel and uploaded various parts of this house. Really thanks to the cooperation of the owner. Thank you very much. I'd be very happy if the owner could take good care of it for a long time. But one thing that I'm concerned of is this wood stove. The wood stove will eventually dry the house. There will be gaps in the joints, various parts, and the floor. Please take good care of it, thinking that it is also the charm of this house. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.